What's going on guys? This is Red Ninja and I just played this short game with randoms. It's like 20 rounds. Well, first game, um, one of the players got pissed because I'm such a kill stealer. Um, and quit, so I just ended the game and got four new players. I wanted to get at least some players that will last like 20 rounds. It's kind of hard to find these wet random lobbies. You know, I mean, 20 rounds isn't long, but it's not high, but it's just a little fun, casual game. And I try to go through it as fast as I can. So, in the other videos, I've given some tips, some real tips. You know, like, you know, I want to do that because there's other people, other YouTubers out there giving some really crappy tips, and I just think their videos are... A lot more popular than mine, but um, they're just they're poison for people who uh, are really looking for some good advice, and um, it's unfortunate. You know? So, you know, like just give you my blueprint once again. If you want to be a pro player, this is the blueprint. And like I said, it's not everything to be a pro player. You gotta there's a lot of knowledge. You did a lot of things, especially in, um, you know, this isn't Black Ops 3 zombies, this is Black Ops 1 zombies, so, you know, you have to know a lot of stuff in order to, uh, advance in this game and play fast. You know, you can't just, you don't have dumb balls that just give you, uh, you know, max ammos and replenish your ammo as you, as you waste it away, you know, you, you really have to know how to manipulate the drop cycle and, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of different, you know, strategies. A no carpenter strategy is really good. You want to get your max ammo every round. Um, so, you know, maps like Jerez and Verrup, they got a real good no carpenter strategy. Uh, so does Ascension if you if you run power. Um, but like I said, my blueprint for becoming a pro player I mean it's not gonna happen for you overnight but it's the blueprint pro, pro players play fast number one pro players use the most powerful guns they use the wonder weapons you know um, they want to get rid of the zombies quickly uh, number three pro players test their theories that's that'll that, that if you follow that that'll keep you from you know believing in bullshit you know, all the random crap that, you know, the randoms say, all this made up crap that the randoms like to say, like they know something, they're just making it up, and they've heard it from other randoms, so they just believe it, you know, you gotta test those theories, that way you'll, you'll be able to know how the game really works, as opposed to how it really doesn't work, and, uh, pro players, uh, always run a, a fast strategy, they're always trying to, you know, the strategies are always evolving, too, that's, that's what's really cool about um, Black Ops 1 zombies and uh, Black Ops 2 zombies even, you know, the, the, the strategies are always evolving, they're always tweaking them uh, in a way to make them faster. You know, you s still see a lot of these uh, random players that maybe have a 50 or 60 on their leaderboard and they know the fire trap strategy, but they don't really know how to run the fire trap strategy. I mean, it's, it's evolved a lot, it's gotten uh, a lot faster. I mean, the way I uh, run the fire trap strategy in Keen Rivers Hope now is not the way that I was running it back in, you know, 2014. Um, you know, it's a lot different. One of the things that I still see random players doing is, you know, when they um, it, when they come out of the, um, uh, you know, the theater, they stand in the fire trap, they stand behind the trap. And, and that's just slow because you're just, and it doesn't even really make any sense. Now, the only th purpose to do that, and I think I do that in this game, is if you have zombies behind you and you want them to just keep respawning in there, fine. But the, if you don't want them to respawn, which you don't want them to respawn in the theater, if you're playing a high round game, uh, co op with one other player, you don't want them to keep respawning in the theater because by the time all those slow um, spawn points, you know, uh, spawn all those zombies spawn all those nova gases. By the time they reach that fire trap, it's gonna be the electrical trap. It's gonna be off. So you just wanna when you go back and forth to the from the theater, you wanna get back into the fire room. And a lot of um, guys tell me, well, you can't do that because the the 
the trap in the fire room won't be set yet. Well, actually it will if you know how to run it right. Because if you, you what you want to do is you want to hoard up a full horde of zombies. And uh, with your player hanging back in the back or in the corner. And you want to hoard up a full horde and then blow it out with a thunder gun. And then wait for another fresh horde to uh, spawn out. And then you go through the electrical trap. And then by the time you come back, that trap will be fully ready. And you also kill... Um, uh, probably uh, two and a half hordes, I believe it is. I mean, you kill a lot more zombies because the fastest spawns are going to be in the um, are going to be in the fire trap. Room. Don't bring up the alley because we're not running the alley, so it doesn't really matter. It's not relevant. But um, you know, when you're running the fire trap strategy, your fastest spawns in that strategy is you want to be in that fire trap room uh, as much as possible. And you, if you're aware of spawn control, once you cross that line. They start to spawn in the theater uh, when you're when you're inside the fire trap room. They only spawn uh, inside the fire trap room and in the lobby. So, and if you haven't activated Novas yet, Nova crawlers, then you won't get any Novas. So, you want to try to run no Novas uh, as long as possible. I mean, if you're running the top uh, top speed, I think the guys that have the world record they ran no Novas to 50. So. If you're good enough to be able to run no Novas to 50, um, you know that's gonna, that's really gonna help your time in the early rounds. Uh, after 50, it, you know it's best to just um, get your get your thunder gun packed and be able to blow out a horde every time, and then just run to the theater, go to the electrical trap, and then come back. But, you know that's just for people who are watching this that you know what I'm talking about with the fire trap strategy, but. So, pro players do their homework. You know, I'm always doing my homework. I'm always watching um, uh, the best players that play, that I know that I could find that play this game. Like I said, that's why I say a lot of these other YouTubers are poison. If you watch them, you know you're gonna. If you watch the wrong YouTubers, you're you're not. They're not gonna help you get better at this game. You're just gonna. They're gonna actually. You know, I mean, if you're a total new player. You know, and maybe they may help you a little bit. I mean, I know watching some of them did help me in the beginning, but uh, I had I had the sense and the intelligence to um, always be looking for new, new and better and more talented players. So I didn't get stuck on them for long at all when I started playing zombies. You know, I didn't. You know, I, I respected some of them at, at the time and still have respect for some of the youtubers some of the ones that have been playing but you know it, it does um disappoint me that a lot of them have been playing this game for so long and haven't uh, gotten better i i really admire players and i and i'm that self that kind of player that just continues to get better and better and better i keep trying to push 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 it push it push it that's what keeps me playing this game if, if I'm not going to continue to get better, if I'm not going to get faster, if I'm not going to improve, and I have to feel that I'm continuing to improve, that I'm, you know, surprising myself, that's that's what makes the game fun. That's what keeps the, it keeps keeps me going. I mean, I'm just going to get bored if I'm doing the same fucking thing all the time. I'm going to get bored. What's the sense of playing this game? There's a thousands and thousands of other games that I could be playing, you know? Like, but if you know the only reason I play this one and continue to play it is because I just want to keep getting better at it. I I'm always excited by when you know these uh, pro players in the pro community uh, you know set a new record when they set a new speed record when they set a new high round record. Which if you want to set a new high round record, you have to play faster. That's all the way it, all there is to it. That's why pro players are obsessed with speed. If you know, if they didn't have a reset time on these maps, um, it would be okay to play slow and extra careful and newbie. It'd be it'd be perfectly fine. I mean, that's what worked in the beginning. That's what worked when people were setting records back in uh, 2011 and 2012. And then I think it started to die out in 2013. You know, when people really started to. Uh, figure out that there was the reset times that the game would be set after a certain amount of time and you know they had to beat that time so they, they started to learn to play faster. That's, I think that's when people really started to hit 200s 
on the um on the solo games. So speed is important, and I like speed. I mean, I remember when I was uh, first started playing this game, and I was you know pretty decent, and I could you know get to round 50 and round 60 and do those games, and they used to take me hours. I mean, I have uh, round 50. Uh, games that have taken me, you know, it, or, or beyond that, you know, eight hours, man. I mean, it's just, that's that's a long time. And when you see people that are like pros that can get to round 80 in eight hours, you're just like, freaking wow, that's amazing. And, you know, you want to do that too. And when you start seeing people are getting around 50 in like two hours or less, and it's just like, you know, that's a casual game right there. It's like for me, you know, I have a record limit on what I can record, you know, these, these uh, files. That's why a lot of people like Twitch because, you know, they can just stream their games. But when you're just recording and uploading, yeah, it takes a lot of time. And it takes a lot of room on your um, your hard drive to be able to record these long ass games. So I have like a, a four hour record limit. So if I'm going to, uh, you know, really put up a really high round game, I'm going to have to do it in like four hour parts. And that's going to take a long time to upload. You know, it won't take as long. I have a pretty decent upload, but, you know, it's going to take a lot longer to process. You know, it just takes forever to process on YouTube. So, I, I would only be able to upload, like, a, a four-hour game, like, once a day. And, you know, that's... And I'm not really going to be able to do anything else because it's going to, it's going to slow down my internet. And, you know, so I'm going to have to just... I don't know, I'm going to could be able to play video games too much, so, I, I like the casual games, I like the games that you just watch, and you can learn a lot from the early rounds, because I think the early rounds are, are, can be a lot of the most challenging, especially when you're trying to get your setup, I mean, for me, my, my chances that are going down in the early rounds are a lot higher than they are in the, um, on the high rounds, because I don't have a setup yet. I don't have a I don't have a, a gun that can get me out of trouble. If I'm playing this map, I don't have a thunder gun. I don't have a crossbow. So you know, some something stupid could happen. And um, you know, it happens less and less to me because I play a lot of these casual games. You know, these games one through twenty, one through thirty, and um, you know, but it it just still happen once in a while. I mean, it, it's it's unfortunate. And, uh, but it's okay because I'm, what I'm doing is, when it, when it does happen, it's because I'm pushing myself. I'm trying to, uh, play faster. I'm trying to play out of the comfort zone. And, um, you know, that's, that's what happens with a lot, even a lot of the pro players. You know, they, they, they take downs once in a while. They do take downs, especially when they're doing speed runs. You know, they're trying to go as fast as they can and, uh, you know, you know shit happens. Shit happens in higher rounds too, but you know, it, it, I I think it would happen a lot more in the, the lower rounds. Once they have their setup, they're set. They got things, they got their game rolling, their game's in motion. As long as they don't play like a total fucking idiot, you know, they're they're gonna they're gonna make it work. They're gonna, but you know, you still have players out there that are that are super fast, and you know, safety has to catch up with their speed. So, you know, pro, pro players play fast and they play safe. You know, it, it may look like they're playing really risky, but, you know, they're totally in control. You know, they don't, they're not letting themselves get slapped around too much, and, you know, it's what you gotta, you gotta be careful of. You know, I, I really laugh at these, um, these YouTubers on there that are, you know, doing these, uh, how to train videos and stuff and they're just getting slapped like crazy and it's like you know a, a, you know I everybody gets slapped I mean I don't know anybody that doesn't get slapped but you know if you really want to be good at like hoarding zombies you want to work on not getting slapped I mean there's there's times when I a lot of times when I run zombies you know I don't get slapped at all and that's that's a success for me when I'm running the zombies nice and close and tight and they're spawning in and I'm not getting slapped that's you know that's that's what I want but you know when they're when they're they're spawning in you know you will take a couple slaps hopefully you don't want to get that red screen I try to not to get red screens as much as possible uh, I think I get one this game I got caught a little off guard it was kind of 
of weird. You know, red screens can really creep up on you at times. I mean, there's no doubt about that. You know, zombies. I think I think there was like a crawler or something that I didn't see that got me in, and all of a sudden these other two zombies came up, and it was just a, a, a quick slap, slap, and you know, it's like whoa. You know that. See, I, you can't let that happen to you too much. That's that's what's gonna cost you down. You know, playing with randoms, I think, is a lot different than you know playing with a good player. Each each of them has their challenges, though. Sometimes it's harder to play with a, a good player than it is to play with a new player. I mean, I I found that as out as well when I played with like really good players. It is is difficult at times because they play fast and um, you know. Plus, you just have to learn how to play with a certain person. Um, you know, you gotta you gotta learn how you work together. You know, I don't really have too many people that um, anymore that I just play with all the time. You know, I play with a lot of different people, so I have to kind of uh, get a feel for them, see how they work, and if they are, you know, any decent at the game, you know, we just gotta, you know, get things going. We gotta get a rhythm going, and um, you know, that's, that's how it is. I want to do a lot more um, 50 plus games. I love doing those for the channel. I love pumping out those flawless 50 round plus games. You know, especially if I could do them in, uh, you know, two and a half hours or less, or you know, less definitely less than three hours. You know, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. That's not like top speed, but that's a hell of a lot better than what any of these randoms are doing. And, you know, a lot of these randoms can't believe you can uh, plow through rounds that fast, but. And see, that's the problem. When I run into a lot of these guys, I ran into a guy the other day, I think he had around 45, and he was shooting me some messages he wanted to play, but, you know, I'd have to talk to him first, and I, I probably had, I had a feeling that if I would have talked to him and said, look, you know, uh, you know, gone over uh, the strategy with him, he probably would have, uh, he probably would have, you know, told, told me I didn't need to tell him anything, that he knew everything, because that's what I run into a lot. And, you know, right then and there, that's just pretty much the deal breaker. I'm not going to sit there and argue with these guys. I'm tired of it, you know. I don't have to do that. They, I don't need them. They need me. So, if they don't want to fucking humble themselves and, um, you know, listen to what I have to say, then, you know what, they need to go find someone else to play with. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. I want to play with as many people as I can. You know, I really do, but, you know, I can't play with everybody because some people are just not um, compatible with, and, you know, that's just the way it's going to be. So, you know, unless, you know, you got a lot of these guys in these, in these lobbies that just think they know everything, and, you know, they, they have an ego uh, a lot bigger than I would ever have. I think this is a point where I really get fucked up here. <laughs> I didn't like that spot either. You know, those Novas, sometimes they don't... Your knife won't catch them. You know, I hate that shit. But, um... But I also have some really clutch moments. Oh, see, there it is. That's that crawler. There it is. There it is. See how that crawler got me? And I was like, oh, what the fuck? And, yeah, it was a fucking red screen from hell, wasn't it? So, I was like, get the fuck out of this situation. I kind of freaked out a little bit there. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking hoard up here. But yeah, I have I have some really uh good clutch moments in this game, and I'm fucking like trying some new like really crazy training. So this is what you gotta do. You really gotta wiggle around, and I'm not even fucking taking hits, man, because I'm wiggling around and fucking doing all these weird choppy movements and shit. And you know that's that's what really works. You know I think it's so funny when you see these uh, YouTube videos on, on here that people say, how, here's how to train and they're getting slapped around and they're doing all this like simple shit they're like oh you could do the circle method or the banana method and it's just like and they're just getting slap 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 i mean two slaps here two slaps there it's like you can't fucking play like that man you're gonna go down and i don't want to i don't care if it was black ops 3 because i watched these guys they, they run black ops 2 and one the same way that slap city it's, it's even worse for them. You know, it's, it's just how they play. They don't know how to fucking play. And I just don't like any player that just sits there and just lets themselves get slapped, slapped, slapped. It just, it's, it's cringy for me, man. 
it's just totally cringe to watch somebody you know get slapped around like that it just goes to show that they're a fucking bitch man you know <laughs> you don't want to be a bitch let these zombies slap you you know but um so yeah that was only red screen in this game unfortunately I, I really like when I don't get any red screens but um you know, there's a couple moments in this game where, you know, I didn't know. Because I'm not using a mic in this game, and here's these guys. So, I don't know where the fuck they're at all the time. So, there's a couple of these guys that really have the habit of just running around the map. And, uh, you know, there I go. I go and get a save. You know, I don't have quick revive, and, you know, I save that guy. But, you know, you can't say that I never revive. <laughs> but, yeah, there's just a couple of times where these guys they're just like to run around the map and um i'm in the alley or a couple times one one time i was in the alley in this game and one time i was in the mp40 room and i and they were running with me and i really had to clutch it out and see the reason i'm able to do that is because i understand the color order i'm i'm the least i'm the least attracted i'm the i'm the doctor i'm the green player so if you don't know the color order it goes to color it goes white blue yellow green white player left the game so um Blue's the most. Blue's pretty much the white player. Yellow's second attracted, and I'm the least attracted. I'm the least uh, zombie magnet or uh, magnetic. I'm the least magnetic to the zombies, unless they're unless they're dead, of course. But so, you know, I understand how to do use that to my advantage. When I got another guy, I I know that they're gonna be attracted to him more than they are me. So. There's times when I know to stand back and when I, but I always have to keep moving. So, you know, I was able to to clutch it in the in the, in the alley in the uh, MP40 room. But still, it was really risky. I didn't have a, a crossbow or a thunder gun at that time. And then after after I did that a couple times, I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't like the way this shit's going. I'm going in the safe mode. You know, I'm gonna get me a fucking crossbow. I think that was kind of what my mentality was here is opening the sword. I wanted to go hit the box and get something. You know, I wanted to make sure I wanted to make this game work. And I wanted to go through it faster. I was hoping I would get the Thunder Gun and I could just, you know, go to town with it, spam the shit out of it, and, you know, get a ray gun. And it's pretty much what I wanted to do. I just didn't really want to play this game very long. I just wanted to get to round 20 and, you know, put it out and you know get on here and do some commentary over it that's pretty much what what my um, mindset was so um you know i've given my blueprint so many times i'll continue to repeat it through videos you know because not everybody sees every video but you know there's a lot more to and I gave a lot of other tips in the last video. I, I, I did, you know, I gave a lot of, I think there were helpful tips. Definitely, I think they're helpful tips. Um, if you don't see that they're helpful, then I don't know what to tell you. But um, there's just a lot more to playing this game. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta learn a lot of shit. But I'd say the blueprint. If you follow the blueprint and you do the fifth step, which is pro players do their homework. If you do your homework and you watch a lot of uh, zombies, you know, like I said, if you want to do high rounds in any of these maps, you need to go on to YouTube, go on to Twitch, go on to uh, zombierecords.com. Um, you know, I'm not too crazy about that site. Nobody, a lot of people aren't, but any, it doesn't matter. I'm glad the site exists. I'd rather it be around than not be around. I, I like the, like, you know, it helps me keep track of who's because people do submit to them, but not everybody's submitting to it anymore, but it's good that I know a lot of players, so I know how to find them on Twitch and YouTube. But, you know, you gotta go on there and do your homework. Every map ha has strategies, you know, high round strategies. You have to learn those high, long, high round strats. And, um, you know, it's stuff like this that I was like really getting nervous. I'm like, no, this guy's crossing them between me. He's gonna be, so I wanted to take those zombies out and go forward. So that's what's always good to have the the Mustang and Sally, and especially in the early rounds. You know, I really rely on the first 20 rounds getting through with like the Mustang and Sally with the randoms, because if I get cornered and I see something, I'll shoot them out ahead of time. I don't fuck around. 
that that's that's the that's the tip I, I gave in one of my other videos is when you see a bad situation coming where I was just at in the theater and that guy was running around that way if I would have continued to run around we would have got sandwiched so I had to you know blow out those zombies and get them out of the way and go the other way I'm not playing that fucking game where these guys are just gonna go in circles like idiots and you know and here I am in the uh, alley which the alley's pretty easy to run but it does help to have a a good gun but you know in early rounds it really doesn't matter I mean I got double tap on this freaking AUG it's fucking gonna kill zombies quick as shit you know it's gonna take them out fast enough that's what you really have to be able to do you really have to um, you know take out the zombies quick you gotta you know just keep killing them killing them killing them so that's basically what you have to do <laughs> Kill them as fast as you can, because you got to be ready for the for the next one that's sneaking up behind you. You know that's whenever I find myself getting stuck on a zombie or one lagging this way or switching that way, and I have to spend an extra second on them. That that's dangerous. That's dangerous because these zombies are running. They're all running at round 13, and you know and they can easily sneak up on you. So you gotta, you gotta kill them quick and you gotta move quick. That's why it helps to have the most powerful gun. That's why it helps to have a ray gun. Because, and uh, you know, I saw a video. Another thing, I, I saw a video of this guy that did, um, what was it? He did a video. He was, oh yeah, he was giving his little tips about what noobs and pros do. There's some YouTubers. A lot more popular than me, of course. A lot more popular than all the other pros in the pro community and I'm not saying that I'm the, the, the pro the pro or anything I'm just a casual player but, you know there's a lot of good players I'm a lot popular and a lot of some of the uh, really top players unfortunately and it's sad and um, but you know this guy's more popular I mean he's giving his stupid videos about how he thinks noobs uh, you know steal kills and they don't open doors and all this other crap and you know he 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 doesn't like the ray gun he hates the ray gun which again shows he's a fucking noob and he doesn't know how to use the ray gun it shows him some gameplay using the ray gun and he's shooting the zombies in the freaking chest and I'm like are you fucking kidding me I said I play with so many randoms and even most a lot of these randoms know that you shoot you shoot down the zombies feet but you know, I, this guy doesn't even know how to use the ray gun. <laughs> of course, and he's playing Black Ops. They show him playing Nuketown. He's on round 20, and he's using like the executioner, and uh, he had a hammer or the whatever that that other that other um, LMG is. I forgot the name of it. It's been a long time since, but I don't like to use that. It's real slow at reloading. But um. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what this guy was using, and I guarantee you, you showed him on round twenty playing solo on Nuketown, and I guarantee he hasn't gone much further than that, because you're not gonna really get too far um, with that kind of setup. You need the ray gun, you need to get the that Mark II, and buzz through the first fifty rounds if you wanna um, seriously play um, Nuketown, or either that, or you know, you could do it with the with the regular ray gun. It's definitely better to have the Mark II, which you could also do it with the regular Mark I ray gun. See, I get out of these situations. I don't like getting hit, so, you know, when I have something, I think that was a Nova that was coming down the wall that I didn't see was hitting me in the feet. I don't like to fucking get hit. So, you know, you see yourself getting hit a couple, once or twice, you gotta really... You gotta react fast. So, for those of you that don't know how to use a ray gun, shoot down at their feet. You won't have to worry about that splash damage. You, know, you, could, you don't need PhD uh, flopper to, to use the ray gun. And even when I do have PhD flopper, I still don't hit the zombies in the chest. I don't use. I'm always in the habit of shooting down at their feet. Um, they become crawlers anyway, so. 
as soon as they drop down the crawlers, they get taken out when they drop down the crawlers. So, and that's how I see any other um, good player using the ray gun. You know, when people do um, play five, if you're gonna play the map five, you know, you Mustang and Sally and ray gun. That's that's it. That's how it. That's how it goes. That's how you do your first. <clears throat> 40, 40 rounds or, or more on five, you, you get a pretty much uh, either uh, you, if you're good, you could pay, camp maybe 35 rounds in the um, 30 to 35 rounds in the um, the back. There's a, there's a newer strat that people are doing. It's really fast, but uh, traditionally a lot of people that played fast would um, camp the stairwell next to the juggernaut machine and just pretty much camp it with um you know run little run little trains and just use the ray gun and then you know run, you know use the mustang and sally's that's your best your best bet and, you know you know get the um get some monkeys helps too so, you gotta you gotta use the most powerful guns that's all there is to it you gotta not all these maps have them have a thunder gun, so or have a, a good wonder weapon like a wave gun or a, you know baby gun like in Shangri La. <coughs> so you just gotta you gotta use the best what the game has to offer. Another thing I'm doing it did in this game is I turned my um, my voice volume all the way down so I can't hear the zombies anymore and I actually liked it I'm getting tired of hearing them zombies and I don't hear the character talking you know which I always like things the characters say sometimes they say things I never heard before but most of the time they say all the same shit but, you know I didn't hear that you turn your voice volume all the way down and I've noticed that um, I didn't like that there he shot the fucking stairs like a fucking idiot two shots too but I didn't get hit by any zombies, so I was okay. And I juggernaut. But yeah, I've noticed a lot of um, some of the um, top players that I watch, they, they turn their voice volume down. I don't know if that matters or does anything, but you know, I kind of like it. I mean, I I'm understand and I'm aware of where the zombies are spawning from, so I'm not really getting caught off guard too much. But um, I think this is a time when I got in the alley and I had to really clutch it. Yeah, this is a time. He went down. So I didn't want to like go up those stairs. And I didn't have any ammo, so I just bought it real quick. I didn't want to go up those stairs because I, I, I figured there was more zombies that were going to come down. So I didn't want to get trapped. So I'm like, I need to fucking hoard up here. I just need to fucking be careful and hoard up here. And then I went up the stairs. Well, actually, I killed them, and I'm like, I'm gonna go save them. I think I saved him. I'm pretty sure I got him. Yeah, I have quick revive, so I got his ass. But, um... You know, that, that was my mindset right there. With that guy. I was like, I'm not going up those stairs. I'm not getting trapped from both ways. Because I would have been really screwed. I wouldn't have been able to shoot out with the Mustang and Sally's up close and um, you know at round 16 it's gonna take more and more than a shot or two to uh, take out zombies so I didn't want to screw around so that's what you gotta do you gotta you know you gotta play safe and careful and uh, you know I wasn't really getting much too much luck when I was hitting the box so I was like you know what screw this I'm just gonna upgrade another wall gun and you know, I really like this upgraded AK-74U. I mean, for early rounds, for the first, like, up to 20 rounds. I mean, it really, it really rips the heads off. It's powerful. I mean, you get 40 rounds in the clip. I mean, it's, it's really not bad. And you get one of those rectical sights. So, you know, it's really good to aim with. So, I mean, that, that's what makes the first... 20 rounds really fun. You don't really freaking need the box. Just upgrade your pistol, get a wall gun, and just, you know, just kill the fucking zombies, you know. So here I am running with this guy again, the blue player. They're gonna be sticking on him more than they are me, but, you know. 
actually have to... And I, this is another part where I was a little worried, you know, I was like, well, you know, I don't want to get sandwiched in that little doorway. So I was, I was cautious about running through here, and I was like, I need to get through here as fast as possible. And see, that's what I mean. And oh, yeah, I did get, yeah, I did, so I had to go back. So I'm like, I'm getting out of here, I'm not getting, and then this guy, see how this guy came from the other way? Now he's going to fucking go down, because, um... You know he can't he can't run. This is this is really fucking sketchy and clutch. But you know I I got a lot of experience, so I got I got it to go. I'm getting fucked up. And see, I went upstairs. That's where I did. I went upstairs and I take my time. See, I started slowing down. So I start slowing down, taking my time, because I don't want the zombies coming up from the other way. I want to give them time to catch up. And then I was like, fuck it. It's now or never. Go down. And then, you know, it's just quick shit, man. I'm not even getting fucking hit. Just quick shit. And I really wanted to get this guy, but I just wasn't able to do it. I was like, ah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I'm like, fuck it. Just... If I had a thunder gun, if only I had a thunder gun, you would have, you would have lived. But I didn't. Or a crossbow for that matter. That's so why I was at the end. By the time I got to this round, I was like, you know what? I'm getting a fucking crossbow or a thunder gun. I'm like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm just done. These guys are going to kill me. And that's kind of what you got to do. You know, you gotta, uh, you know, I can sit there and uh, clutch it in Keno. Because, you know, that's another thing. I haven't played Keno in a while. So, last time I played Keno, I played zombies differently. You know, my I'm always getting better and playing differently. So... When I play, go back and play a map that I haven't played in a while, um, I have to adjust to it again with, with my skill level. You know, I'm playing a lot uh, faster and, um, you know, somewhat riskier. I mean, it's not, gonna be, it's not really riskier when I know what I'm doing because I'm still playing safe, but I have to adjust. I have to adjust, you know. I'm pretty decent at um, running the um, MP40 room, not too bad. It's MP40 room's pretty, pretty tight. Um, I don't know what I could do much in the... I could pretty much run any room. I'm not, I don't know too much about the dressing room. I'm not, I can't I have run the dressing room before, it depends. If you have four good players and, you know, the zombies are all, it's really easy to run any area. So, but this game's gonna come to an end soon. We've got four more rounds to go. And another one of the other guys leaves, so I was just like, you know what, I'm done. This guys just keep going down, and one leaves, and I probably could have. I don't know if this guy. I don't think this other guy would have ever left. He wanted to beat his high round. And I was just like, I'm not having it today. I'm sorry. My plan was to get in here and do 20 rounds, and I'm done. Let's see how I'm doing a lot of different, you know, I like to do train like that, you know, and just really wiggle a lot, and hopefully not catch too many hits. You know, one's okay, but, uh, you know, even one's not even really much acceptable. I don't, I don't want to get hit at all, that's the goal. You just have to, you have to run them right. See here, I have no ammo, so I gotta get the insta kill. And I'm like, what gun am I gonna get? Am I gonna get this gun? No, I thought I was gonna get that gun, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna grab this little, this little gun. I don't give a shit. It's got more. I don't want to have to freaking reload after eight shots. So I was like, you know what? I want to spray and get some on uh, this insta kill. And I got blinded a lot. See, this is the thing where I was talking in one of the other videos where. I get blinded and I don't really give a shit because I know the, I know this room so well. I know how to fucking run in this room. I can hoard up in, in this room no problem every time. I mean, I totally run in this room. And uh, so if I get blinded by the Nova gas crawlers, it's not a big deal. The only thing you really got to be careful is if you're getting hit too many times. That counts as like a hit marker, and you could get hit by another zombie, and you know you could get red screened or down. So. You, you gotta, you gotta be careful when you got like two or three of them just blowing up. That's those are hit markers, so that, that's the only dangerous part. But as far as being blinded, not being able to see, I mean, I'm moving around. I know where the hell I'm going. 
I see, I saw what was coming, and uh, you know, it was an insta kill, so I'm just like, spray, spray, spray. But then when they just started blowing up one after another, it was like, I'm gonna, you, that, that can kill you. You know, if you have four or five of those blow up right in succession on you, that'll down you. Um, it can really, it can really, because it's, it's putting a hit marker on you, so it's kind of like the grenades. You threw like a bunch of grenades and you land there, especially without jug. You throw like two grenades by your feet and, and you know, they'll down you. So I got my crossbow. I was like, you know what, it'd be nice to get a thunder gun, but I was like, you know what, I don't really give a shit about the thunder gun. But I think I'd try one more time. Let's try one more time. Let's see what it gives me. And of course it doesn't give me a thunder gun. So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go pack this fucking crossbow. That way I'll have something, um to get me out of trouble i really didn't like i was i was kind of hoping i didn't buy a double tap at that point i was like you know it'd been nice to get mule kick and get another wall gun because i could have made the rounds go even faster but you know and just had the crossbow to save my ass if i needed to have my ass saved so but you know after this dog round do a couple more rounds and then it's pretty much game. I mean, look at my kills compared to these guys. That's how it is when I play these these randoms. I mean, once in a great while, I'll run into somebody that freaking uh, can keep up with kills or even you know go up a, if if they can go up. But usually they can't. At least not in the long run. I mean, they have to get a thunder gun or something. If they get a thunder gun, they know how to, and they use it, and they can. But, you know, it all depends how I play. Sometimes I just play chill. I don't really give a shit, but most of the time now, I don't play chill anymore. I'm playing to get as many kills as I can get. I'm not fucking around, so if, if you keep up with me, then, you know, that's good. Uh, the, the other trick is not only just be able to keep up with me. See, when I reach someone that... When I run into somebody who can keep up with me, they still they, they take their downs and shit. So it's like, okay, you're keeping up, but you're not staying alive. So you got to be able to do both of those things. I mean, it really your game really goes to shit when you, especially when you're playing with randoms. I mean, it's really bad going down with randoms. I mean, it's all about you got to really survive. That's one of the challenges I like about playing with randoms is it's just. It's like, it's like, uh, to me, I, I look at playing with randoms as like a fighter training in, you know, a really like rough, dirty, shitty fucking gym, you know, or like, you know, just someone who just fights in the back alley, you know, you're just really, that's really, you know, everybody, there's not really that much skill, but I mean, it's just like, you gotta, um, you know, you gotta be ready for everything. That's what playing at randoms has gotten. Because I know, I know, it's a lot of like good players when they go play at randoms. They don't do as well. They, they, they don't do that well because they, they're not used to it. It's something they're not used to. It's, a, it's, it's a different game type for them. But they should be. They just have to learn, you know, the do's and don'ts of playing at randoms, and that's it's all there is really to it. And they can apply, you know, their their skills of playing fast. And, you know, it's only so so fast you can play with randoms anyway. And, I mean, you can try to play fast with them, but they always they don't play fast. So you got to kill everything. I played a short game. I think it was uploaded on that first game, that first eight rounds, and you know, I I the guy the guy that I got in that game with it was really funny. He said that. He wanted to play fast. He wanted to, you know, he, he's like, no, he's like, well, let's not play fucking slow and knife. I said, okay. I said, let's go to a fucking a, a private match. You know what I mean? Let's fucking do like 20, 30 rounds really quick. And he was all for it, but the, he never even bought a fucking gun off the wall. And I think by the end of the game, when he quit, he had like 30, 35 kills. And I had like 95. I mean, I was killing everything. So. And the game wasn't long. And the game was like 11 minutes for round eight, which was freaking long. I mean, a round eight game should have been under eight minutes at least. And, but but he wasn't doing his part, so 
You know, if he would if he would have been killing as fast as I was, you know, we would have been round eight in like seven minutes. But you know, that's that's the thing with randoms. You can't you can't do a speed run with with randoms. And see, I like to just when I'm training, I don't just go back and forth, back and forth like a lot of these guys. A lot of these guys, they don't know what they're doing when they're fucking running running zombies and hoarding up they just don't there's no thought in their game they don't sit there and you know that's why i can't really explain um zombies i mean i have to kind of explain it as someone's watching you know i'm waiting for them to spawn on one side i don't want them to just go back and forth that's that's how that's why they're always getting slapped all the time and they don't know how to run the zombies close and they don't know how to move all weird and choppy and wiggle around right and it kind of confuses the zombies. You know, you're it's it's hard to hit a moving target. I always keep moving on the zombies. They can't hit a moving target, and I'm not always going in like straight lines and shit. You know, I'm not. I'm very unpredictable for these zombies. They're if they're trying to hit me, they're 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 missing. Um, if you want to be able to play like first rooms. Um, you're not playing without you're playing without jug you gotta you gotta be able to run them real close and you gotta know all these little tricks uh, I'm just at this point and I'm even in this while I'm doing this commentary in this game I'm just hoping for this game to end already because I'm, I'm sick of talking I don't really that's why I don't do commentary too much I'm just not um, you don't really have a lot to, if I gotta have something to talk about I'm not gonna sit there and talk about stupid shit, you know, it's, I want to talk about, uh, something that's going to help people, because, you know, that's the thing with the, a lot of these YouTubers, they say they want to, um, they want to help people, um, be able to play zombies better, but they give such bad advice, and, you know, I, I respect that, you know, if, if that's what they really want to do, if they want to help, yeah, I respect that they, that the, if that's really their goal, I respect that, but, um, they got they got to help themselves first uh, you know they, they they got black ops 3 and you know it's a really easy game to you know there's not really much thought that goes in black ops 3 you could get a wall gun and put dead wire on it get another wall gun and put a turn on it and you know and get a wonder weapon and you're just spamming ammo you're never going to run out of ammo so i mean what's what's the skill in that I mean, it's almost like having, like, mods or something and having unlimited ammo and shit. I mean, can you imagine having mods and just having unlimited ammo and, like, a thunder gun or something? And, uh, you know, I wanted to revive this guy. See, it's something that's really dangerous, man, to try to revive people, you know? Just, it's, it's not even worth it. I mean, the guy's just gonna go right back down again. But, um... Uh... <laughs> I just ramble on in this shit, you know, it's, but, um, yeah, those YouTubers, man, they just, if they're, if they're, if their heart's in the right spot and they really want to, um, you know, help people get better, they, they need to help themselves first. They're, they're getting a little too far ahead of themselves just because they get Black Ops 3 and they think they're good now. I mean, there's, there's not much thought that goes into playing Black Ops 3 as there is um, Black Ops 1, you know, I, I came in, I, one of these days, I'll, I'll get into, like, uh, stuff like drop cycle manipulation, I don't really, pretty much, you really want to pay attention to the order of the drops, when you're playing co-op with somebody, you want to pay attention to the order of the drops, so you know, um, and there's a lot of different, like, techniques able to do this, and it really helps when you're playing a, a no carpenter strat, you know, then you then you really then, then, but when you're not playing a no carpenter strike, you have to really have to force those drops out and get that max ammo lined up. So when you use like a thunder gun, like when you're playing like Ascension or this map, you really want to do your you really got to do a lot of force forcing of the drops and um, you know that's another thing. A lot of people don't um, wouldn't understand if they were to listen to like uh, good players talk. You know, they use a lot of um, phrases and, and stuff, and people, I, I know that a lot of people would, wouldn't know what the fuck they're talking about. 
kind of like what I was just saying about force dropping and uh, forcing a max and uh, you know no car no carpenter carpenter strategies and you know if they say don't leave don't you know don't break carpenter you know breaking carpenter they don't know what that really means so there's there's a lot of things that pro players are say that a lot of people wouldn't that average people they wouldn't know what the fuck they're talking about well that's it thanks for watching